This is the story of a company just too good to be true. They're so good it hurts. And they're making lots of money doing it. Where's the catch? They can't be that good, can they? I think they're really delicious. My children love them too. Um, they're nice and fruity and tasty. Yeah, it's really nice, very fresh. Um, I've had the strawberry ones and the banana and pineapples. I go into Marks and Spencer's every day and I pick up an innocent drink and I say to myself, this is why I live. This is my favourite taste and this is what life's about. They actually give 10% uh, of their profits to sustainability projects and things like that. I didn't know that. I think it's great. I think it just makes it more, it makes more people want to, you know, if everyone if wants to be healthy, they want to say, you know, they want to be conscious about their environment and, you know, um, and, you know. We're going to go and get one in a second. Um, and I think it, yeah, I think people are, you know, anything that's saving and helping other people, then it's definitely worth, you know, it's good. Okay, so they thought of a product, who was going to buy it? Well, they were, or people like them. When we first started Innocent, uh, we just sold the small uh, 250 milliliter bottles. Uh, they were sold and still are to this day in sandwich stores and uh, independent outlets. Uh, often where you buy your